Michelle Futch and I'm the president of North Florida Rescue. I've been rescuing for about 10 years and I started off when we lost a dog for a couple of days and I started looking on Craigslist and Facebook and I saw all the dogs out there that, and cats that were in shelters that needed places um, or, or people that had lost dogs or people that had found dogs. I just saw the need and so I, st I started by volunteering. such a big help to be able to send dogs up north. It's a, it's a different culture and it's a different environment and there's not all the um, unwanted animals like there are in the south. There's an overpopulation of dogs and cats and they're usually always full and they put down a lot of really nice dogs because there's not enough rescues or homes or opportunity for them to get out of the shelter. So this has been a wonderful way for us to help. Cats too, kittens we recently added to our um, rescue and we have many nice kittens that are waiting for homes. It doesn't matter, we rescue dogs from Maine, we rescue dogs from North Florida, we rescue dogs from the Bahamas, we rescue dogs from Georgia. We, you know, we try to help different partners and if it's a dog in need that we can reach out and help, we do. also live in a rural area that doesn't have any animal control and two of our fosters, um, one of them works at a local vet's office and they've had animals dropped off there. They've had people bring in animals to uh, be put down and nothing was wrong with them. Uh, so we've ended up taking a lot of those rescues in too because it was the right thing to do. They were great adoptable animals and we could help. Check out our rescue. We're happy to be a part of Maine and to be a part of the community. Rescue's just become my thing and a, a way of life for us.